Hyundai has launched an innovation centre on the outskirts of Singapore. It's the first car assembly facility in the city in 40 years. Singapore was an interesting choice for the location of the centre to begin with. It's a city that discourages car ownership. More importantly, it doesn't have a car production industry. But Hyundai says there are advantages to the Singapore ecosystem. We believe in mass personalization and we believe in multimodal ways of transportation in cities. If we want to experiment those, we need a market that is small enough for us to have a rapid response as well as mature enough. Step inside this heavily automated center and you'll see robots and AI hard at work, including a worker's best friend. Spot the robo dog conducting safety checks on the assembly line, a line that looks very different from conveyor belt production, the norm for more than a century. At the heart of the facility, so-called cell-based production systems. The aim, a seamless integration of humans and robots. Hyundai already makes electric and driverless vehicles here and says it wants to test other forms of transport too, such as highly customized vehicles. Meanwhile, news of Hyundai's bet on flying taxis grabbed headlines earlier this month, but the Singapore Centre offered little detail of how it would fit into such plans. We will put together the technology stack that is required to make this happen. If the market conditions and if Singapore as a smart city lends itself towards that when the time is right, you could see that happening. The launch of the centre was not without speed bumps. Hyundai delayed it twice, pushing it back by a year, blaming COVID. It initially planned to make up to 30,000 vehicles a year in Singapore by 2025. It now says the production volume is not its focus. The South Korean automaker wants to take the lead in future forms of transport and become one of the world's top three EV makers by 2030. It hopes the technology tested here will help it reach those ambitious goals. Avril Hong, Bloomberg News, Singapore.